guys, thanks for tuning into my drive by. Today is August 3rd, 2015, and I am on the I-75 going southbound. Um, today is uh, it's about 6:40 in the morning, 76 degrees. I hope everybody's doing great. Kind of early to be up. Never my water and half of uh, a pancake, but hope everything's doing good. My today's drive-by, I'm just going to bring up a subject. What's the best sniper rifle? And when I say sniper rifle, I guess I'll have to define it. Sniper rifle, something that's accurate out to 900 feet or more. Um, it's uh, well, actually something that's, uh, that's uh, uh, a good threat stopper out to 900 feet or more. And it would not be a 22. Probably only talking about a little bit better calibers, 308, 300 blackouts, so a 30 out six or such caliber ones. There's other ones probably are better, and then this is the reason to drive by. You can leave a comment, let me know, and uh, make a post on this video and let me know what is a better one. But for now, that's the definition. Uh, as a general rule, a sniper rifle. Uh, it's going to have to be accurate. It's going to have a good, have to have a good barrel. Fairly, uh, normally the longer the better barrel, the barrel the better. And uh, chrome molly line, the bull barrel, 20 inches or longer um, would be ideal. You're going to want some type of uh, support, either by a tripod, or a bipod, or something. Then you're going to be able to lay the gun and adjust it. It should have a free dropping magazine and it should be either bolt action, which is preferably, or semi automatic, but uh, normally uh, bolt action will probably be a little bit more control and a little bit more accurate. However, semi automatic ones are very accurate too, so it could be either of those. It should have a good sighting system form of probably a nice optic and a backup, flip-up, adjustable uh, iron sight. It should have a solid uh, frame. Um, it could be it could be a, a frame that breaks down its modular, but it needs to be solid enough to absorb the impact and be stabilized enough to be accurate. To uh, and also, if it is one that comes apart, which is even ideal. One that remains its act and keeps its accuracy when you put it back together. Uh, you don't want to have to be reciting the gun in every time you take it apart. It's got to be accurate. Uh, you know, after you take it apart and put it together, it's got to be accurate for the target that you're shooting at. Uh, it should be. We already talked about caliber. It should have a more a more uh, powerful enough caliber. To, for that bullet to go that far, and that's going to, you know, eliminate a few of the lower, cheaper calibers like 22s and stuff. So uh, I would have to say 300 blackout, 308. Uh, I know a Winchester Magnum. Uh, some of those are okay. Uh, you can get, uh, you know, a Remington 700. But that's a good. It's actually, actually, it's an M24. Uh, you know that that would be a good bullet. 30 out six. Anything with a uh, you know a, a bigger type of caliber, which holds more power, you know, in the right hands of 50 BMG would be great. It would just definitely stop it and make a great sniper weapon. But it's kind of heavy, not too portable, but it definitely would be. Uh, if something gets hit with a 50 BMG, it's gone. Okay, it's not making it, including probably uh, some light armor equipment, right? But uh, I'd like your, uh, you know, and let me know what uh, sniper, ideally, this is what I'd like to find out. What highly customizable, lightweight, powerful sniper rifle is there around? And can we use an AR? And if we can, what would be, like, what barrel, chambered in what, what kind of sighting, do that? Uh, is the gun heavy enough to do that? You know, is, the, is, it, is it good enough? I guess anything really could be a sniper rifle. Excuse me. In the in the right. Kind.
context, you know, if you did enough work to it. And I'd like to know your opinion. What do you think is the best site, uh, sniper rifle? Yeah. If you have one in mind, tell me what it is, tell me why, and tell me the price. But uh, I know the Nemesis makes a really nice one, and I think it's for like 4500 they start at. I, I saw them at an arms list for 11500 I thought that was brain damage. I don't think any, I don't think any of them were that. Even the one that Chris Kyle used, uh, he was the, one of the top uh, snipers. wasn't using the eleven thousand dollar. He used like a five thousand or sixty five hundred uh, dollar gun. But thanks a lot, and I'd like to know uh, what you think uh, the best sniper sniper uh, rifle, and what do you think it should have as far as features. Have a great day, and have a thanks for tuning in.